Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God today again for coming under the umbrella of Premier School of the Prophets. I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today I'll be talking to us about prophetic suffering. Suffering is one thing that so many believers don't want to hear anything about. But the truth about it is that there are certain things you must suffer to enter into your glory. That's why the Bible says somewhere, when Christ resurrected, he was talking to, on the way to Isaiah Manos, he was talking to some people, and they couldn't comprehend what he was saying. He said, have you not read? Is it not written? That the Christ, after he has suffered, he will enter into his glory. In Luke 9, 23, Jesus said, anyone that will come after him must take up their cross. Deny themselves, take up their cross and follow him. There are certain things that you must go through. I'm not talking about suffering as a result of ignorance of God's word. I'm not talking about suffering because of the sin you committed. I'm talking beyond that. There's a place of suffering for the sin you committed. There's a place of suffering out of ignorance of God's word. That is not the prophetic suffering I'm talking about. Prophetic suffering is suffering for righteousness sake. You see, the Bible says in 1 Peter that if you suffer for righteousness, they take it lightly. They glorify God because that suffering glorifies God. This prophetic suffering is suffering that you suffer that glorify Jesus. The suffering you go through uh, in the course of ministry, in the course of carrying out God's divine assignment over your life. Paul was speaking about all the suffering went through. In fact, Paul said, the Holy Spirit said concerning me that imprisonment and affliction awaits me everywhere. Imprisonment and affliction awaits me everywhere. Paul was a man that suffered a lot for the gospel. But I must tell you that we all must suffer one thing or the other in the course of discharging the gospel. I don't mean suffering as a wrongdoer or as a busybody in other people's matter. I don't mean suffering as a thief. I don't mean suffering as a sinner, as a fornicator or adulterer. I don't mean suffering because of your ignorance of God. So I'm talking about prophetic suffering that glorified Jesus. Suffering for doing righteousness sake. Like Joseph. Joseph was thrown into the pit before you know in the prison. Before you know it, he eventually came to the palace. So there are certain things you must suffer in the course of, you see, preaching the gospel. I remember vividly there was a man many years ago, God sent me to, to the wife, the minister of the gospel. And the man did not receive me. And he said a lot of derogatory words, which I forgave him of. And I did not, I was not bitter about it. I continued to pray for him. Later, after a year or two or so, the Lord had set another meeting for us. He met me in the, in the house of the serving president that time. And he was, he was bamboozled. He was, he was taken away. He was surprised. Is it not the same man that came to my house and does say the Lord that it's now in the, in the house of the president, that's the number one citizen of the country? Of course, to deliver a message to him from the Lord. The next time he saw me, he was so honorable that he was asking me that the message I brought that time that he never received, that I rejected, that I can give the message now to the wife that is standing before him now. I told him he did not receive me then. That message has been dealt with in the place of prayer. Maybe when I have another message, he will receive me. Why is he receiving me now? Because he saw me in the, house, in the house of the president. You see, a lot of people are walking in the flesh. The messenger is not as important as the message. And it's not as important as the person who sent him. You see, people make a lot of mistakes. God can send anyone to you. Just like we, we can see clearly in scripture where God used a donkey to speak. He can use anyone to speak to you. He can send anyone to you. So you don't need to esteem somebody or despise somebody to receive the message that is coming from that person. You receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, you receive a prophet reward. God bless you in Jesus' name. We will see tomorrow.